arrested yesterday afternoon. We do know it has now been fully contained. Suji Nam joining us now from Hungry Land Trails, which is where that fire started. Suji has the latest on the operations that are happening right now. Suji. Tiffany, while the cause of the fire remains under investigation, officials do believe that the drought has played a major role. And I also talked to some residents who were affected by the fire. How you go to sleep not knowing if all your stuff burned down, you know? You don't know. Julian Hoffman is one of many residents with property near Hungryland who have been waiting to be let back through the gates so they could assess the damages from Thursday's wildfire. As landowners, you can't even go to, it'd be like someone telling you you can't go to your house to check your stuff, you know? Like, one feller, his dogs are out there. He's out there right now trying to get them. Florida Forest Service officials say they got a call around 1 p.m. Thursday. At that time, the fire was around 50 acres. By 10 p.m., the fire had expanded to about 800 acres and since has been 100% contained. And on Friday, officials have been on what they call mop-up operations in the area. We come here, we reevaluate the, the uh, situation, we reassess, we double back on our fire lines, uh, we put water on areas that are still smoldering. While experts say the fire started farther away from the main roads, they're asking drivers to be vigilant. When you're driving in the area, especially if you have health conditions, just be aware that it's going to be a bit smoky. Um, keep your windows up when you're driving along the area. Uh, keep that AC in the uh, air circul circulated mode. And coming up at 6, how Martin County Fire Rescue is helping with these operations. Reporting in Martin County, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.